Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Disillusion Plays Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I said Disillusion Played, not Plays, but we're still going to roll with it <laughs> because it I am past. doomed to mess up the title every time. <laughs> Last time, it seems that Iris may have been in two places at once. That's mm. what we she can have do. an evil twin, an evil spirit, a mm. clone. Has she duplicated herself somehow? <laughs> can she teleport? We don't know, and we hopefully are going to at least get closer to finding out this episode. Yes. But before we delve into the nature of Iris's duplication, mm -hmm. I'm Taylor. I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah. Nice. Just thought we could do a thing where we go, welcome to Disillusion Plays. And last week, Disillusion played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll, uh -huh. see, I'll see myself out. <laughs> get out. No, yeah. no. Disillusion played. Okay. So I believe we were going to the, the heavenly, heavenly hall. hall. Yes, to see something. Pete's best friend. So I really hope it's not. <laughs> to see if Larry was there. So maybe, what if we find Iris's double, Siri, <sighs> down here? Siri. Oh, it's Pearl. Oh. Oh, Mr. Nick. Turns out Pearl was channeling someone. Pearls! What are you doing here? On your own. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Again! What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? <laughs> um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, oh. what do you think you're doing here, Nick? What are you doing with a nine year old? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, oh. I wasn't even going to make that joke because it makes me feel gross, I'm but sorry. yes. Oh, God, now you've said it, though. <laughs> He's Larry. He's sweating. <laughs> this is the loser shack where losers get together to lose themselves. Think for yourself. He's like down there just <laughs> taking drugs. Oh <laughs> it's God! Like LSD this drugs. is this is the what? <laughs> hey, we find comfort in each other's failures. Okay, you got a problem with that? Pearl's just drinking a glass of milk and pretending it's alcohol. Uh, <laughs> look, Mr. Nick, Mr. Louise did a picture of me. That's, um, great, Pearls. Ew. Yeah, we're gonna gather firewood now. We're gonna gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way! I don't believe this. Why can't he get... Why can't you try getting fired up over becoming a better man? <laughs> no one believes a word I say anymore. <laughs> it's kind of because me, you Pearl. lie every time you open your mouth. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy. Okay, he'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Oh, no, Sarah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? <laughs> I got nothing to say to you, Nick. <laughs> My life's here now with Pearl. Two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. This is just really wrong. Yeah, it really is. What am I going to do with him? Arrest him. <laughs> All right, then. What do you think about this picture, Pearls? I... <gasps> I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. <laughs> See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? Wow, how did you get that? Like, there is no distinguishing feature of Iris. Well, Larry could have told us. I love it! It's like a dream, a wonderful fantasy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> she really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. Huh? M Mr. Larice? <laughs> not, not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I, I beg of you. I guess this picture is really be, 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 be. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was half asleep when I was here that night. But I was. He was looking at it upside, upside down. down. But I was yeah. wide awake after the lightning struck, and I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Hey, what's with the look of doubt on your face? Um, Pearls? Y yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. <laughs> Where were you? And what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I, I was just, well, I'm just a kid, you know. Oh, that seems awful suspicious. I, I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing. What I was doing, does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Miss Donim's room, reading a book together. But... Oh, I know. What? I know. She spilt the gravy all over the thing. Oh, I bet that's what it is. Maybe. I bet that's why she's so embarrassed. No, because I'm just thinking, like, what could Pearl have possibly done? Like, what could she possibly have done? But then the... It's like she just kicks a, a bloody knife. Underneath the, the <laughs> yes, that's, the, that's what I did. But, yeah. oh, oh, clumsy little me. No, no, because this is what always happens, though, is it? Because Pearl did this before, because she had the thing where she dropped the... With the vase, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She dropped yeah. the urn with the ashes, and, yeah. she, and it was, you know, this innocent thing. But yeah, I bet she'll have dropped the grave, the, put, the, put the gravy all over the poster by accident. Ms. Donim was murdered, and you, Pearls, were at the inner temple. Mm, yeah, the inner temple, where it happened. Mm -hmm. Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm, I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Ten psyche locks. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my <laughs> giddy ants! I was just I, kidding! I, 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 I'm being a bad girl. Oh my, see, yeah, and of course that'll then set Nick off as like, Oh my god! But yeah, yeah, the inner temple, which is where Maya was, she will have, um, yeah. That's why I'm being punished. Because she spilled gravy on the post, on the, not the post of the scroll. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power, it has disappeared. Ooh. What? Her, oh, well, that would at least explain why they haven't done the thing. Yeah. Her powers have disappeared. What, 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 what do you mean your powers have disappeared, Pearls? It's, it's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> Pearls? Did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Nick! You made her cry. <laughs> That's that, that was really cruel of you. <laughs> Jeez, just as I thought. I'm going to have to break her psyche locks to get the truth out of her. <laughs> right. Yep. Let's do this. Sure, Nick. I wonder if this is going to be one of those, like, you know, the, the pretend ones. Whoopsie. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, no, it's five locks, but it's like one thing yeah. and she breaks immediately. Because she's a small child. She's an equal, she's an equal child. She's not going to have, like, crazy lies. Or a crazy web of lies After... to hide behind. Sorry, mm -hmm. Taylor, go on. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise Donham's room. Reading a book together, correct? Yes, I was so happy when she invited me, but I, I, I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No, there was somewhere else I had to go instead. I, I was so worried, I, I, I had to go. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. <laughs> So 
Pearls never went to Miss Donum's room. Because she was too worried about something or someone else. Duh! <laughs> Pearls? On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? Right. In a temple. Yeah. You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not going to open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? And the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? I want to say Maya. Now, I'm going to take a guess, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is this. I feel like... Mayo. <laughs> Mayo. I feel like, yeah, it has to be Maya. Yeah. Hamburger helper. <laughs> it's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? <laughs> you knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. The special course doesn't even have any hamburgers. <laughs> I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Oh, young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one become one with those who channel. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. And we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. About what time was it when you headed over to the inner temple? Yeah. Oh, she's not. She did see something, did she? Well, I, I hope gonna... not. <laughs> a crazy thought. That's probably not. You don't think pearls put the put the psyche locks on the well, the trick locks on the? I wouldn't have thought, I so, have but... thought so. I don't think so. No. Uh, it was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow that... So I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. You know, I wonder if Pearl got possessed by the demon thing. Like Dahlia, mm, demon Dahlia. Maybe. Well, because we know that Pearl can channel. Yeah, I wonder if, And maybe like, that's the reason why, is it's like, she maybe uh, Demon Dahlia did it or something. I don't know. Yeah, and she didn't, like, channel again. It's probably scared her or something. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Well, yeah. or that, or just the process of actually channeling her did something to her psychic powers, maybe. Mm, maybe. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. Hmm. hmm. She heard the lights out bell? Okay, so that's an alibi for Iris. Yeah. Right, because Iris was there and did ring. Yes. Yeah. The Hazakura temple bell is pretty small, though, isn't it? You must have really good hearing. I... I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, but that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I... I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. She was uh, meeting Elise. Dead. Was it Elise? She was supposed to be meeting her, wasn't she? I don't know. Mm Trial? Maybe maybe it is Elise. Maybe she was trying to get back, so she didn't worry her or worry Nick or something. I don't know. We don't have anything concrete that's. 
about that though, do we? I mean, what, do you want me to present Elise? Maybe? I guess let's give it a shot, it's the only thing I can think of. Take a uh, break now. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Even your hair's starting to look a bit tired. It, the spikes aren't looking so sharp. Looks like picking this piece of evidence mm -hmm. wasn't so sharp of me either. Did I did I save before I started this? I no. can't. I not. I don't think so. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Choices. Uh, anyway. Said you could. Maybe we don't have enough yet. I don't think I have enough evidence yet, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Well, I guess we, we're still supposed to talk to Sister Bikini. Mm. Yeah. Let me let me do a save here again. Or maybe I did save it after all. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I did. Oh, I'm not sure now. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh. Hey, you can't be back here, pal. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall yet. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. I wouldn't have thought so. Mm, oh no, I think it's, she's more Edgeworth. No, she's more after Edgeworth, I think. Oh, oh. god. Oh. oh god. This doesn't bode well. <laughs> well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? It looks like it survived. But we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. <gasps> but who... Who could have done... Who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick, lo trick locks are those of the Karain tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yes, we were in the middle. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes, you were telling me how the Master of Karain disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Fay suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No, I mean, Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said... Oh, okay, yeah. Someone is trying to destroy the Karain tradition's main family line. I am here to put a stop to them. Sounds like she didn't do a very good job. <laughs> Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? Oh god, do you think <laughs> now I'm thinking of what's Now the hold name? up. Sister Bikini has already said that she's part of the branch family. Yeah, she has. Mm. And it's making me think of uh what was the name? Morgan Faye. Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Not, oh. Was it Faye? Oh, Morgan. No, yeah. Morgan Faye. It was. Yeah, yeah, you remember? She was the oh, branch heck. family. <laughs> Oh god, is she gonna make an appearance I don't, again? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. There is only one heir to the title of master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new master of Karain, and her daughters, the main family. All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. Wow, well, you've just implicated doggy. yourself there, I'm gonna say, yeah, it's doggy dog. Yeah. Gee, I wonder if that's going to be something we have to present in court. Mm. Huh? Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Jesus, Maya, don't, don't, don't become the master. <laughs> you believe in the technique, don't you, Mister Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. It's been two years since I first met mine. 
In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the Mask Star to Mask case. And during Maggie Bird's trial, too. Just those. Only. <laughs> yep. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. The grind technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. <laughs> That's true psychic power, you know? Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... Now it's suddenly turning into, like, conspiracy theory territory. <laughs> Jeez. It's like the the golden apple or whatever. The apple of, uh... Apple of Eden. Eden or, uh, from, uh... Assassin's, Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom in on that picture again. Aha! There's a medium standing behind Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Oh, 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 oh. You're very dire direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see. All because of this, of <clears throat> all because of one little mistake. The DL6 case. Mm. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that... That incident. The DL6. Ah, crap. Not again. <laughs> is she talking about that what I think she is? incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called... The DL6 Incident. <laughs> And that, that was Von Karma making that noise just then. <laughs> That's the name of the file, which for some reason I'm fully aware of. Yes. The DL6 incident? I knew it! Oh, for God's sake. Here we go again! <laughs> the DL6 incident. I know it well. Too well, actually. So well, I'm going to monologue it to you now. a related case just two years ago. Mm. Oh! Th that's right! So it, so it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man... He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right. He was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth! Misty Fay's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korine tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan... Does she mean Maya? But with a new master mm -hmm. wielding the power of the clan... Uh The spiritual power of the Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. We, the, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Amy. But with each new generation, 
Only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. It's, it's what I said. <laughs> it's always the cause of tragedy. Hmm. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life as a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia, <clears throat> Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between uh, her mother and her aunt. That's right. Misty Fay had an elder... Phoenix, really? <laughs> Have you forgotten about... Okay. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. You see, I remembered. Mm -hmm. You did one member. Yeah. Oh, for Morgan. Come on, <laughs> how could... a name I know well. How could you forget that mushroom hair? <laughs> <laughs> it was a year ago now, at Maya's home, Karine Village. Oh, yeah, God, she's she's the silhouette. Jesus. <laughs> what she did was terrible. It was also... She, 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 she. What she did was terrible. It was also she could make her own daughter the next master. I like to imagine that that whole shape is a whole head. <laughs> like, not just a head. Yeah. And, like, she's got, like, a smiley face on the top or something. <laughs> um, oh, no, she doesn't. Oh, oh no. Mm. Couldn't afford to put the sprite in this game. <laughs> I suppose if, if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must already have realized that I... Ooh, oh, wait, hello. what? 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 Oh. Hello. Then you must have already realized that Iris... Huh? Uh, Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is Mystic Morgan's <gasps> daughter. What? Oh, what? goodness, I didn't. I, oh. I, I thought that was Pearl. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Maybe Pearl had a... Oh, you know what? Is... Pearl does look a lot like her when you think about it. Does she? Mm. Does she? Same color I eyes could, and everything. I could see it. As an old, if she was older, I could see it. Uh, Maybe. Uh, I, don't know. I guess, I guess. What? Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oh. So that's interesting. So then when, yeah, so when Iris is going, oh yeah, I've got no abilities, that's a complete lie. Yeah. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Whoops! <laughs> I thought you already knew. It sounded like you'd met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I, I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yeah, Pearls. Pearl Faye. But I always thought she was an only child. Hmm. <laughs> you jest! That child? She's Mystic Morgan's? Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> Mystic Morgan, what devilry have you been committing? But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes, ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. The second time Maya was framed for murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. With the shadow over her face. Yeah. It was all done to set Pearls up as the next master. No mention of Iris at the time. Mm. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not three? two. Huh? What? Three? What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> three? Yes. Oh, oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, we called it. Yes. Iris. 
her twin sister and Mystic Pearl. Interesting that she doesn't call her Mystic Iris. Hmm. What? T twin sister? Right. Oh, oh, didn't you know? It all happened no! 20 years ago. No, I did not know! It all happened 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I like to go. imagine she's waving her hands as she does it. Yeah. After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh. It wasn't many years later that Karine's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her and the village, taking their twin daughters with uh... him. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. There we go. There's, ah, there's the link. There we go. There's the link. Right. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. Oh, nice. Yes. So that was then, Iris, you see. Uh, uh, no, oh, what the hell was her name? Dahlia. The, the other one. Dahlia. No, not Dahlia. The the one who got murdered originally. Was her half sister then? Valerie. Oh yeah, Valerie mm. Hawthorne. Right, Valerie must have been her half sister then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister. But then why does she know him? Mm. Could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm. A jeweler. Uh, thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> we don't speak that kind of language here in Neo San Francisco. <laughs> Even though it's written all over the walls. Oh. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. And her lust. Her insatiable lust. <laughs> anger? Nick, are you just like not paying attention? <laughs> Is the fever melting your brain? I got, I, I, guess so. I got a goldfish memory. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband, but even that couldn't destroy her dream of a child of hers. Sorry, that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls. It seems that the incident here. Was a, was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens. Mm. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info. Well, back to Iris. I'm going to say presumably not from her. Let's see. Or have we got anything in profiles? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. Question, question, question. Age, question, question, question. Cool. So, back to Iris. Iris, Iris, who won't be in the courtyard. That's the wrong direction! I know. I just figured that we've not been here for a bit. Oh, dot, 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 dot. See, see, it was worth potentially coming here. Sounds like someone's happy. Tune is that they're humming? No, no, it's no. That's friggin' what's his face? Yeah, that's the yeah the old guy who's named Victor Kudo. Damon Gant? Yeah, no. No motive, no crime. No motive, no crime. Sing it with me. No motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search. In the channeling room in Karine. <laughs> Whoa, I love my job. Uh, Who cares if the clues I find are no good? 
That's not what investigating's all about. And the investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have. Good cases we've lost. <laughs> Along the way, I think, I think I probably should just leave him alone. <laughs> it's reggae. I would have never guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. Into reggae. Reggae. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, every uh, case is gonna be airtight. Every case is. Every little case is gonna be, be airtight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what? It, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, no it could be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh, every case is gonna be airtight. <laughs> God's sake. Hey. Uh, hey, pal. Huh? Uh, who? Me? Uh, uh, you didn't hear none of that, did you? Uh, 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 how long have you been there? The... Uh, I just got here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, so what are you up to, detective? Yeah, I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Edge, Mr. Edgewood. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? Yeah, that Bob sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? Yeah, I'm giving it my best shot here, but... I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? So, how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but I, <laughs> I guess it can't hurt. It looks like... What, are they gonna do, cut my salary again? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are the odds? I got the negative left, salary. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. Yeah, and they're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What?! Y you mean... Yeah, yeah, they're all like, what is this? Oh, ho! <laughs> yeah, I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, then we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? Uh, yeah, you got me, I don't know. Yeah, they're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Uh, Mr. Godot. Godot? What did he mean by that? I think you probably know, Phoenix, but... Mm. About that letter you found. Yeah, don't remind me, pal. I'm busting my gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up old letter. Ah, Bell! It says Bell on there! It says Bell! Mm. So it does. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? I knew it! I knew I wasn't imagining it! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I don't know why it couldn't have just loaded that screen specifically. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah, okay, so Larry definitely was drawing it from his upside-down yeah. recollection then, because you can see the suspension wires there. Yep. Mm. So the the dum dum has drawn somebody falling off the bridge. Yeah, not flying. Yeah. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. Hey, what's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Yeah, sure, go nuts. <laughs> I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Whoa, 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 don't snatch my hands off, <laughs> pal. <laughs> Crikey. Boy, the way you're handling it sure does seem like it's relevant, <laughs> but uh, I was told to look for a moiter weapon, not a, not a letter. So, you know, go nuts. It's got to be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Well, it's a good job I didn't... I was thinking I might need to go for a wink around the corner, so it's a good job <laughs> I didn't get to the point of needing to wipe. You know, my nose was running, and I was just about out of uh, uncrusted space on my sleeve. Aww. <laughs> Taylor, now, Jesus. uncrusted space. Ew. Oh. 
Ew! <laughs> well, you know, you blow your nose on your coat sleeve, it gets crusty, you gotta move to the next uncrusted spot. Is that what your coat looks like, Taylor? There's, <laughs> no, there's no wonder his coat's green. I plead the fifth. I plead the there's fifth. There's no wonder his trench coat is green all over. It's not mold. <laughs> oh. It's the reason it's green. <laughs> that is gross. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I'd better give it a good looking over and some serious thought. Yeah, make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. Mm. You bloody buffoon. So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Yeah, well, it wasn't the sh the shish the shishi shido mm -hmm. that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. Guess he can do one thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> in which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now, huh? Yeah, and man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. But we're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? A dog. <laughs> What's this secret weapon of yours? Yeah, you want to know? <laughs> you got to think scientifically, okay? Oh. Luminal. Luminal. All right. Yeah, the murder weapon was a sword. Swords, uh, scientifically speaking, made, oh, made of metal, metal, right? Detector. Is he using a metal detector? Yeah. Any questions so far? No. I know what he's going to say, but I'll let him look smart. Yeah, so what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. Who are you, who are you talking to? Who am Nick? I talking to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you want to give scientific investigation a go? Huh? M me? <laughs> I've been using this thing for hours now. He gets pretty boring after a while. Hey, why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? Oh, for play forensics expert. <laughs> Why not? It's just like when we took the dog back in the first game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling you. All right, then. I guess I'll... All righty, then. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. I'm sorry. All righty, then. All righty, then. <laughs> I guess I'll give it a go. I guess I'll give it a go. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> Shaka -ka. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. It's so sensitive, you could make it cry. It's so high tech, you could skydive off it. Uh. Oh, bother. Yeah, so, so now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right. So first, let's turn the met let's turn the detector on. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off something metallic. Next, move the detector around and give this courtyard a good look, see pal. Don't worry, this baby will don't worry, this baby will let you know when you've hit something metallic, and when that happens, press enter. To give the area a something. The, the thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight, too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal? Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Well, obviously that's metal, innit? Yeah. Ooh, what that? Ooh. This looks like a wallet? <laughs> and that's where it's been! <laughs> Is it yours, Detective? How has he not found this? He's been here for hours, did you say? <laughs> yeah, I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. <laughs> but you still dropped it anyway. Hey, he uh, put, hey, guys, guys, he put a bell on his wallet. Well, Pearls was listening for a bell, wasn't she? Oh, look at this. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm kidding. <laughs> the, the, link is, the link is clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I found it again, pal. Your wallet is completely empty. <laughs> well, I drop it all the time, so I don't put money in it anymore. Mm -mm. 
Not that I have uh, any to put in it anyway. Then how come the metal detector picked it he up? He did just say he put it's a bell in it. a bell in it. Yeah, it must be because yeah. of the bell, Yeah, I, guess. I was gonna say, Nick. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> For God's right. sake. So obviously there's this thing as well. Oh, what? Oh. what is that? What's this? A pen? Hey, I've been looking all over for that, pal! <laughs> huh? It's yours? <laughs> yeah, my old man gave it to me when I qualified as a detective. He told me- it... This one behind my ear is just for show. Yeah, he told <laughs> yeah. me it'd be good for sticking in suspects' faces. <laughs> that makes you detective sound really nasty. <laughs> it's my dream to stick it in your face one day, right? Whoa now! Okay. <laughs> then don't go losing it! Uh, although, please do. Huh. I wonder if that's the secret entrance that we've been talking about. That's what, yeah, that's what I mean. It looks very cave like behind there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like there's something round buried in the ground here. Yeah, don't touch that, pal! It's a landmine! Huh? What is it? It's a trap! People set them out to catch us de- For God's sake. <laughs> People set them out to catch us detectives. They're real nasty. A trap for detectives? Uh, you mean like those fierce traps with sharp teeth that are supposed to snag your leg? Yeah, those. I got my finger caught in one of those once. Uh, I'm surprised you have y it left. Your finger? Yeah, I don't have a finger no more. Yeah, there was this bit of cheese, and it looked so tasty, I reached out, and then BAM! I'm not sure I know how to respond to a story as stupidly pitiful as that. Mm. Oh. What? Why is that? Oh. Why is this? Don't say there's a sword in the staff. You know what? This is Ms. Donim's staff, isn't it? Yeah, scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, all right? I don't bother investigating anything unless, unless it looks like it might be metallic. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> There's no wood the salary is keeps it, getting isn't like, the deducted. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? I am starting mm. to see why Gumshoe doesn't make it into the later games, though. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got stupider. <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> like, it's weird that this thing was ca it's causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Examine it. <laughs> exam Examining evidence is a job for the... Crack. Oh. <laughs> ah! The, the top is coming off! Yeah, look what you've done! You've damaged a really important piece of evidence! Ah! <laughs> Nick, like, chopped his arm off. Oh, oh it is! Oh uh, th my that's giddy a... ant! There we go. Wow. Th th that's a... Uh, a sword! Well, guys, I think we've found the other murder weapon. There it is. In inside, so it would seem. Inside the staff. Is this? C could it be? The murder weapon? For God's sake! And it was under his nose the entire yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like it's made out of wood. So I'll just ignore it. Oh. I never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. Well, how else is she going to kill? The people trying to assassinate her family. It looks like a rapier. Like, you know, she just yeah. grabs the end of it and starts wishing it through the air. Yeah. Yeah, they call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. The workmanship is really something else. Yeah, thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword, or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that got me. It's just a cane sword. I, I I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. Okay, if the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe. Who knows about the hidden sword? Yeah, no one. Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. <laughs> it doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. Mm. 
Yeah, then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? Oh well, toss it in the incinerator. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Hmm. Hey, you're right. Yeah, of course. The thing's definitely the murder weapon. Good, jo great job, pal. Great job finding this murder, like helping me find this murder weapon that I definitely found on my own. Mm. It's about the same length as the Shichishito, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over the forensics. <laughs> There's gotta be some traces of blood left. Even if most of it has been wiped off. <laughs> See you later, pal. Yeah, so it was worth coming in. Every case is gonna. <laughs> every case is gonna be airtight. Every case is gonna be airtight. <laughs> Wait up, detective. Uh huh. <laughs> what is it, pal? Uh, I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? How? Uh, well, what are you talking about, pal? Please! J just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Or it could just be that you've not eaten. Mm. Oh? Or maybe that's the fever eating away at my brain cells. <laughs> uh, how so? Look. Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the, the more uneasy I feel. You, you, you don't think... Maya's been murdered? Please, Detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. You're... You're looking kind of Viridian there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, just stop with that face, pal. One thing, though. This staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, all right? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. Hmm. Yeah, this is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? Okay. Now, take good care of it, pal. Thank you, Detective. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry. She'll be fine. Gumshoe. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that's got some really good pasta. How about I take you there when we find Maya, huh, pal? Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> like, just, it gives me a warm feeling. Yeah. It's nice. Fuzzy. <laughs> sure. Thanks. I can't help but wonder, though. What was Elise Donim doing with a staff like this in the first place? <laughs> well, see, she was actually also a master fencer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, uh, can we go back to Edgeworth now? Oh, we do it. Well, no, we need to go back. Well, we need to check the letter because we got two things. One, we can go back to Iris and press her about her twin. And now, yeah, as soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Yeah. Yep. Be okay. careful. Once. That'll be the thing. Yeah. Yeah, That's once night falls, should be there. As long as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit, leave everything up to her. Her name is, but she is, uh, the whole. Here is a picture of her. Use it when you channel it. I know you can do it. Once this is burned, the also mate, tell, you don't tell anyone about this. Let her gravely roast the master in the fire of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. For God's sake, Morgan. Wow. Right. So, yeah, so I guess it was Pearl who channeled her then. Pearl was listening for the bell. Um, um, no, unless Pearl knew about what was going on and saw the letter or oh, something. I don't think so, because with Pearl disappearing and yeah. she was trapped on the right, but what? But she wouldn't want to help with the revenge. Yeah, but is the only thing. But she might. Unless it's because it's her mom. I don't know. Well, I guess say the thing let's, is, is she, let's go. Let's go and talk with. Uh, let's go and talk with. I guess we can talk with Pearl or Iris. Really, should we go to Iris first? Mm -hmm. I think it. Be I think it is. I think so. I think it is Pearl though. I think it has to be because she won't have it won't have been like intentional though. Again, she'll have just been doing it because her mum told her to. Forgive me, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, I must do this thing. I did not want to murder her, but I had to. I was oh, no. just wondering if we should have talked to Edgeworth to see if we can get anything out of him to confirm the name. 
What about? Oh, you might. Oh, yeah. He didn't have any. He didn't have any psyche locks. No, though. but we were. He said that he had more to say about the person who. He wouldn't. He wouldn't delve any information about. Do you remember? He didn't think it was relevant. About yeah, the, that's yeah. true. So what if we go? Bam! Oh wait, hang on. Sorry. <clears throat> Present. Bam! Hey, Edgeworth. Did you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? A, a twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but the problem is she didn't know the name of this twin. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files, I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by her father, that jeweler, I think. So yeah, see, Edgeworth mm. did say that, like, all I yeah. know is that the father's a jeweler. A jeweler? <sighs> right, I... I just might know who this twin sister of hers is. Oh, well done, Sarah. You've, uh, yeah. Yeah. You've, you've helped. <laughs> you've, you helped! <laughs> you helped! No, I mean, I like, helped. well, no, 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 but I mean, like, your suggestion. No, no, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's right on the money. Well done. Because I think, yeah. I don't know if the well last... Well done, Sarah. Thank you. I guess, I, I, cause I, is the last psyche lock, like, we've got to present someone that is important? Like, it could be her? I yeah, yeah, I kind yeah. of forgot what the last psyche lot was, but I wonder if it's if we could like smack a profile of Dahlia in the <laughs> in her face, then she'll open up. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let me guess. Oh, oh, he does know. Mm. Why are you even asking? You needed the her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, you right? Needed the confirmation, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. Boom. Oh. Headshot. Biakasha. It was my first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? Hmm? Y you know about that case? You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. It's Blooch. <laughs> they stole a jewel worth two million dollars from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. <laughs> Excuse Bless me. Bless you. And five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Big family. Hmm. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. Go. They weren't blood-related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second... There we go. ...wife, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is when she entered my life. So, Nick has known an awful... The woman who tried to kill me. Nick has known an awful lot of spirit medium. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, people with latent spiritual powers. Yeah, it seems that way. Seems like everyone's a spirit medium now. That... <laughs> hey, Edgeworth! So... Have you tried channeling? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so after Terry Falls died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said... Kinda? <laughs> like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I yeah. called it! There we go. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, not exactly, but Cause it, evil Dahlia, evil spirit, yeah. same thing. I was going to say, because I was like, is she dead? Yeah. So, okay. Now that's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> well, her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only to historians, so to speak. Uh, what do you mean by Dahlia Hawthorne is dead, Edgeworth? 
right, I... I must confess that in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Ah. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. You don't think there's like a really weird thing that her mother wrote to her and told her to, to commit to, you know, to uh, take her own life so that she may become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Maybe. So, Maybe. but this explains why Iris would know Phoenix, right? Yeah. Because if she's communed with the spirit of her dead sister, she probably knows all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they don't... But they don't... That also explains why she knew about who she was. We were wondering about that. Mm, yeah. But don't they, they're not, don't they have any recollection of the channeling, though? Like, because with the case where, like, Morgan set everything up, like, well, no, I guess no. Well, Matt... maybe they talked or something. I don't know. Well, they could have, they could have exchanged letters. They could have, like, written oh, a letter down written... or something. Yeah, I well, suppose, um, yeah. I don't know. Mm. At the time, Dahlia, it's like she was possessed by a demon or something. It's been almost five years since that guilty verdict was handed down. And her sentence was finally carried out. She oh! She was executed last month. Uh, executed? That's right. Oh. That's a thing that happens in this court system. Mm. I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. And that's where you're wrong, sir. She's dead, and once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. Have you never seen my partner, Maya? <laughs> Have you never seen any... Or, or even Pearls? Have you <laughs> never seen... What yeah. happens? There's no way to revive the dead? People die when they are killed? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I wonder... It seems you're not aware of the one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay, A spirit medium from a branch family of the Karine Channeling Technique. But did you say Karine Channeling Technique? D do you know something about it? Oh, yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? Oh, don't. Here we go. I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. It was a bad year for me, all things considered. I was caught up in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped. And that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of her channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of murder. She and her powers, they were all fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police records room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. Of course. Could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Edgeworth. You'll understand someday. And then... You'll see that the Karine channeling technique is real. Wow. I wonder if we can actually go to the court records room. Yeah. Or the police records room. I mean, I wouldn't have thought so, but because it's far away. But maybe. Mm. Uh... Expansion bridge. <laughs> oh, to the main gate. To the main hall. <laughs> to the... To the... Nope. I, nope, nope, we can't. That's no. not happening. No. I mean, it seems kind of... Uh, see, now it, I'm blanking on it, because it was like... Was it like the DL6 incident was... They passed out in the elevator, they weren't sure who killed them, they thought it was the security guard at first, yeah. but it was Manfred von Karma. Yeah, they thought it was Yogi Yanni, who was the, like, caretaker of the boat Good shop. Sarah, she remembers the name and everything. Oh, Yanni Yogi, sorry, the other way around. Um, Yeah. 
because he. Was... Oh, that's right, and he was the security guard who, yeah, was then the guy with the parrot. Yeah, and he like yeah, Polly. <laughs> Yeah, and he, he sort of... And then, but, but did, so did Misty say that it was Yanny then? Or did she say it was Manfred? No, she I, I she, don't think she did say it was Manfred, because otherwise Von Kammer would have been yeah. sent, he would have been in prison, wouldn't he? I think they blamed Yanni, yeah. Yanni Yogi. And I don't, I can't remember if he, like, he had to, like, sort of go into hiding and just pretended to be this, like, senile old man. And they like... He I guess maybe it... Ma Maybe if she channeled Edgeworth's dad, Edgeworth's dad wasn't sure about what happened. Oh, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, shucks. <laughs> oh, dear. We're actually a couple of minutes over when we would have normally stopped. So, unfortunately, <laughs> the mystery about Iris and Dahlia will need to wait until next time. Oh, this is killing me. <laughs> You're killing, killing me. me too, pal. You're it's kill killing me too. So it's you're... killing me deader than Misty Faye. So yeah, Aww. you're gonna have to channel my spirit too... to bring me back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna to... Good you're gonna have to channel our spirit after we stay up all night doing this case. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, can we get an F in chat for all of us, please? <laughs> an F in chat for our, for, yeah, for, for our, our sanity. Disillusions. So anyway, uh, if you like what we do, why don't you stick a thumbs up on the video? Leave a comment down below if you think that we've, you know, we could uh, improve our investigating skills, or if there's anything that you've uh, seen that we haven't because we're silly fools. <laughs> and uh, why don't you why don't you subscribe? If you like what we do, why don't you subscribe? And then you get to see the stuff that we do when it comes out. And if you ring the bell, then you'll get notifications straight away, so you'll not miss an episode. And with that. We're sorry. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> Take care, everyone.